So, according to Guinness, what is the best-selling copyrighted book of all time? Is it A, the Bible, B, the Guinness Book of Records, or is it C, the joy of sex? That's exactly the kind of question the Guinness Book of Records was designed to answer. And if you looked it up, you'd know that while the Bible is the most widely distributed book, it is not copyrighted. With more than 81 million copies sold since it was first published in 1955, the Guinness Book of Records itself tops the copyrighted bestseller list. An offshoot of Ireland's famed Guinness Brewery, the book was originally created to settle the where's the tallest, what's the fastest, who was first arguments common to pubs. Today, from New York to Nairobi, Guinness is the world's most valued reference book. In fact, it's been published in 37 different languages, and about the only record they don't keep is what source has answered more questions, ended more arguments, and settled more bets than any other. Chances are, the Guinness Book of World Records. Welcome back. The artist you're about to meet now doesn't use a palette, an easel, or a chisel. Yet Lisa Liu's works have earned her a reputation that rivals the great masters of the art world. It also earned her a place in the Guinness Book of Records. At first glance, it looks like a kitchen for elves. But this is no fairy tale miniature. It's a life-size kitchen of beads. The kitchen and its companion piece, the equally life-size, equally beaded backyard, are the work of Topanga, California artist Liza Liu, who holds the Guinness record for the most beads used in a work of art. 40 million of them. They're small, 20 to a foot. Yet if they were all strung together, they would stretch 379 miles, or as far as Los Angeles to San Francisco. I use beads that are the size of your shoelace tip. They're called bugle beads, and they're all made out of glass. So you get this incredible um, light with this. This is, for me, beads are the ultimate paint. A three-dimensional paint that requires far more labor than brush strokes. The kitchen is 12 feet by 14 feet. Creating it took 20 gallons of glue, one ton of lumber, and 10,400 hours of monotonous repetition that might have drained the life out of others. I mean, everything I do takes a really long time. You need to put beads on with the tweezers. When I started the kitchen, I thought it would take six months. <laughs> Five years later, I realized I'm not very good at time management. But even a beaded kitchen needs a view, so her next project was the backyard a monumental piece that used three times as many beads as the kitchen. And each blade of grass is made one at a time with, um, you know, wire. You take a bead and you thread it on a piece of wire. And I realized to do that would take me probably 10 years alone. So she asked for volunteers to help, and in Southern California, where lawns are sacred, more than 1,000 people came forward to string her glass clover together. I'm going to walk in someday and say, I think it's part of that grass, and it's, it's a very, very exciting feeling. Every detail from the bees to the beers is an act of beating obsession. People always want to know if I'm crazy. <laughs> I always tell them that, you know, you, when you love what you're doing, it seems normal to you. Ultimately, Liza Liu's goal isn't to hide reality, just to alter it one bead at a time. I'm going to beat the world. And beating the world's kind of a way of improving everyday life. Maybe I can't change the world, but at least I can make it look better. Lisa Lou, you are the Michelangelo of beads. Stay with us. Coming up next, from the Guinness Medical Files, a startling technological breakthrough. It's a spellbinding inside-out look at the future with the world's thinnest sliced couple in 3D.